skip the countdown. Um, yeah, so this guy, fucking, I don't even know what the fuck's this dude's name. I know it's it's a it's a left minion. Rose wrist. Whatever the fuck that is. Rose wrist. <laughs> okay. This is what I'm saying. Like when, when he, he, he unless he was, he, I doubt he was on the train at the beginning of the fucking, you know, Trump run. He might have been. I don't know what his the view account on this video, which is a couple of yeah. I, I try to do one other thing. I think I lost it. I don't think I pulled. Threw it up there on the tubes, but this shit's funny as well. It's the same shit as Jake, where it's like these dudes are shadow boxing with this chick as if they're talking directly to her. It's even funnier with the one with Vaj doing one when he's deb when she's debating some other dude who went from right to left, and then she's sitting there saying the same shit, and all this dude is doing is spitting out facts, spitting out not even facts, but just stats, I should say. Just constant stats and the and she's like, yeah, well, no, that, I know people that are not. Oh, well, you just it's your experience. It's only when it's there, someone else's experience, it doesn't matter. But when it's fucking um, you know, everybody else that was around you experience. That's what really matters. You know what I'm saying? There's there's no observation in these guys' science. It's just oh shit, I seen a paper, and he'll even do it early on this. I guess he's writing a paper on some shit, and I guess he's using facts for his teacher to look up. So he has them all up for you. But won't go to them. Or there'll be fucking studies from Australia. I saw Australia stats about Americans going on. You feel me? It's weird shit. But let's let's see what fucking Rose Wrist <laughs> has to fucking say. Yo. He must be great at the fucking calls Thanks and duties. On race hustlers and BLM. Oh, well, shit. standard yeah. video, race just debunking hustler. standard conservative things on the whole you. BLM thing. And you. now we've gotten. I've been told you. that I have, well, I'm including they, in this uh, video and I'm part of it. You. So I'm excited to yeah, see uh, see me interrupting her, I guess, and that's not the same as listening to her. So let, let's find out. Super excited. Mm -hmm. I just want to preface with saying that hate speech, uh, I yeah. am immune to it, okay? Immune. As a YouTube commentator, I have received so much hate speech. Gothic is a grifter. She's stupid. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She got internalized racism. She's, she, she's hate, transphobic, whatever. I get that all day, every day. <gasps> to be clear, I don't think all this is the definition of what's obviously do hate it, speech. It's a pretty meaningless term. It's kind of thrown around a lot, but generally... Uh, hate speech refers to like hateful speech towards a group of people, um, not an individual person. That would be harassment. <laughs> no, that would be still hate speech. You fucking moron, dude. What? <laughs> Holy fucking shit, nigga. Holy fucking shit. You know, harassment and hate speech can still be both the same fucking thing, right? But I guess not, Rose Wrist. As per the way I understand those words. So, um, hate speech, not quite. Harassment, sure. Uh, and, I mean, that's part and parcel of being the person that talks about politics on the Look him up. Uh, and it doesn't faze me. I'm still making Look content. I got a smile on my face. I'm going about my day. And I think the way that I respond to hate speech should be a really great example for how I believe strong minded people should respond to hate speech. Now, it's not hate speech, it's harassment. Oh, is this how we're gonna get stuck in the video? It's just gonna be that over and over again. of this video isn't to debate what is and isn't hate speech. I'm just making. <laughs> yeah, I sure hope so because holy fuck, you're not doing good so far. Oh, am I interrupting her too much? Am I gonna get destroyed later where she's like, hey, by pausing the video, you're interrupting me and therefore you're is that what this is gonna be? Am I being baited already? Is this the point? She does this thing in the beginning where she says so many wrong things point. for you to like interrupt her and pause her all the time, and then the second half is you making fun of her from. How is that wrong? She said that's the, first of all, that's not even what she was trying to debate. She said that, though, this hate speech coming my way. Probably like, oh, because she's black, she shouldn't be on the right. Even though she'll even say she's not on the fucking right. <laughs> you feel what I'm fucking saying? Holy shit, dog, yo. It's fucking crazy. It's fucking cr It's bananas. It's, 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 it's beyond bananas, dude. But yeah, I, I'm my fault. I'm pausing now a bit much. Like, I'm letting her making fun of us for like pausing? Is that what it is? Maybe. That'd be a good I am yeah. personally not That's affected like, by any of this. And the reason that I want to say this is because a lot of my detractors, a lot of my uh, YouTube opposition that uh, like making the point that I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm uneducated, I'm, mm -hmm. I, I'm an idiot, I'm a grifter, I'm a conservative talking head, whatever. A lot of these people all have something in common. And that is that these people consistently misrepresent my arguments, my opinions, and my positions simply because they mm -hmm. refuse to listen. They refuse to hear me out. And... Bam, you know what would be convenient? If you think somebody's yeah. misrepresenting you and lying about your... She doesn't owe you shit, bro. She does not owe you her time. That doesn't give you the right to go out and misrepresent her. Like, basically what you're saying is that you do represent her. You're pausing her during the end. She's saying and and you're pausing her. Not even letting her finish the fucking rest of her sentence. But she probably could be rebutting what you're about to say. That happens often. You did that shit in the last video. 
The last video that you did, you did that exact same thing. You kept pausing mid-sentence. She'd be like, yeah, me and my... Oh, yeah. You and your what? Your experience? Always your experience. My fault. Let beliefs, talk, then wouldn't it make sense to maybe take them up on an offer to be able to talk to them live so you could pin oh, them down and ensure you. that they actually address your arguments instead of misrepresenting oh, fuck them? fuck yourself, nigga. I would you're think doing so. A, what, you're doing what she's saying. It makes me question why you're doing like, why You're already doing what she's saying. The email I sent after making my video was like, hey, some people told me that you like having conversations with left-wing people. Here's me. If you want to have a discussion about anything, here's a video I made oh, on fuck you. Yourself. Uh, enjoy. Let me know if you want to talk. Um, but you know, never oh, got a response to that one, which may just be because you didn't see it, but I would say, though, that having a conversation with these people, especially if they reach out to you, pretty sure I'm sure that they address your arguments and don't misrepresent them. fuck Here's the, here's the email for proof. Subtweet this participation. That's email. the name of her political yeah. podcast or whatever. And this is sent to her gothics thing. This is the email I could find for reaching out to this. I introduced myself. I'm like, hey, um, if you want to talk about stuff, here's my channel. I think that the newest video on my channel at that point was a video I made about her. Um, but yeah, that's proof that I actually reached out to her. I'm sure a lot of people on here that are familiar with my work, you've probably seen other YouTubers making commentary on how uh, oh, poor my arguments are, and you understand this. You'll see a, a commentator or a content creator, they'll play my video for a few seconds, pause it. That's not true at all. Holy shit, I can't. <laughs> And then immediately start going on a one to two minute rant about whatever I guess it was that I was joke. saying. Because I thought the topic of discussion was racial injustice, which isn't specific to one political party. So if it Okay. <laughs> oh my god, my mic is so bad. Wait, I don't unfortunately You didn't even get to hear what I said, are you serious? At this point you should know that I'm not a fan of Black Lives Matter for several reasons. One criticism that I had for this organization is that their donations are processed through Act Blue, a democratic fundraising platform, which is weird to me because I thought the topic of discussion was racial injustice, which isn't specific to one political party. So if it <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yes, it fucking is. Okay. If you look at the differences no, in the Democratic Party and the Republican Party when it comes to like social issues, then okay, even though none of the parties are doing the best they could be doing or none of them are doing enough we can still notice a distinct okay so we spoke for roughly the same amount of time there like i i played like a, i think a 40 second segment of her video and then at at what do you want to come to fuck at, at 18 in my video to one political party so if it... i pause her 1802 i pause and then at for example what is this and then at 1828 i play that's roughly 30 seconds of me talking and how long does she speak in her video before that point Let's see. Okay. She speaks from Turn 739, video. 740 up until At this point, Holy shit. racial injustice, which isn't specific. Turn to video. Party. So if it... 810. So pretty much exactly 30 She's 30. Not arguing wow. With you. Good. That's the kicker. She's not arguing with you, bro. She's just talking. And you're bringing up arguments that don't even. And then you're just. I'm sorry, don't want that. Great example, great example there. Um, regardless though, there are often times where you will play a small portion of somebody's video and you will pause it and it will take longer for you to explain or for you to rebut that thing than it does for the person to say it originally. This is for the simple fact that it takes less time to say something incorrect and to make an incorrect argument than it does to not only explain why that argument is incorrect, but also maybe given your own argument instead for what? why, you know, this other thing is more important what? or why so you see it in the way that you do or whatever. And that's why it often takes longer not. when you pause so and you have to explain something than it does to, the, you know, listen to the, the thing that they're saying that you're trying to explain or rebut so afterwards. No but regardless of that, terrible example, she speaks for 30 seconds, she gets her argument through, uh, and then I speak for 30 seconds afterwards before I let her resume the video. So there are probably plenty of other examples in this video where it is like she says something for 20 seconds and I have to explain like a three minute thing because of it, but that was a terrible example. So uh, we're going to give a little, little, little dink for that one. But anyway, let's keep watching. She's doing it for everybody. It's like five people she's talking about. Okay. That's the reason why she cut it off there, I guess, because I would only speak for like 30 seconds after that so I guess fortunately the mean things that people say isn't going to be the most difficult thing you encounter in life and, and so I there's i mean you can see here the insidious wait is she just mean. angry that people pause the video when they go over her does she think you should like just like sit there like she's play the talking. nine minute video or the 10 minute video and just she's sit there staring into the camera while the video plays she's still talking. and she's then still once it's talking. over you like you just you do your whole thing is that is that wow. is that it is she just annoyed that people pause her wow. videos when they go over them uh, maybe authoritarian pressure in many education systems to make insidious authoritarian pressure scary adjectives we're gonna get a lot of scary adjectives from this one <laughs> oh man i even had what an absolute load of nonsense name them hmm. name them then american households have both parents at what? Home. <laughs> what is Jesus this christ i don't get i don't get the point of this is it to show that people pause or watching your videos this is so Maybe. when you have i can't she always makes me do this if someone doesn't like you why would she you want to force them this. to like what's you? making you do and that? Know that no you see that you see, you see that just to, to, to pause it and be like, why do I have to correct you? Why is he correcting her? Why is he correcting her? Why should Jake feel the need to correct her or any of you people need to correct her? Holy fucking hell! No, my fault. No, no, no. I certainly do. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, you would absolutely, and I know. <laughs> this completely defeats the purpose of trying to understand my point when you're too busy. Pausing. Damn right! Do not pause. Let the whole video play so that she can copy strike you later. Okay? Point. Come on, Brett Rivers. What are we doing? To get when she's trying to get her point across. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, Doug! You're gonna fuck even point pause her when she's trying to get her point across. I don't know why. Mr. Wrists don't fucking understand this shit. You're worded. I could be already midway through making my More argument, and you're not exactly. gonna be able to absorb that because you only care about interrupting me, almost as if we're having mm -hmm. an actual live debate. Well, the awkward part, okay, we're going to <laughs> the awkward part with that, if you do that, is that, hey, if what? he gives out half her argument, and then you pause it, 
and then you respond to that and then you play it and what you just said gets defeated or is not relevant because of what she says afterwards then you look really dumb so regardless what happens as long as you sh and you people keep doing that and no one's pointing it fucking out dog that is the kicker you would do that she, like she does it to jake a thousand times you would think that this chick's a fucking oracle the way she responds to this did some of you people's shit bro You'll say some shit like, oh, well, maybe you can't go out there to get a fucking license because, you know, you don't have $5. And then you'll play it and she'll be like, well, shit, if you don't have $5, then you probably fucking should think about other things de desperately in your life than fucking voting. You should probably be trying to figure out how to get $5 in your pocket to get food. That's happened dozens of times, Mr. Rose. You, like, she's doing it to you. She oh, did it to you a few times. It becomes difficult Holy for shit. them to be able to misrepresent your arguments because it's going to be shown Please no matter what. Me. Now, granted, there is an advantage to, you to being able to split things up where you want Holy to, but at the end of the day, if you do a bad job, if you do misrepresent the arguments, the rest of the argument is going to wow. get out there anyway, and then you're going to look really silly if you say something that just gets responded to when you start yeah, playing you the video often. afterwards. After all, that video was pre-recorded, you're doing this live, so you're going to get real silly. Often. You know, if you, you don't do that, even but, correct um, yourself. Yeah, that's, that's another thing. Form of indoctrination. Again, another Marxist tactic. I was having doctrine. Let's let her finish. She said it. Let's let her explain. The whole reason I started making YouTube videos was because I was propelled. You see the difference. You see the difference when there's no pause button in between the conversation? The best thing is this. She'll sit there and say a few words. You'll try to cut her off before she even gets to finish off what the fuck she's trying to say. And then because you think that you're the biggest voice in the fucking room, that your voice needs to be heard over hers. Which is kind of fucked up. So you sit here and shadow box with the girl and you still lose. Into this environment by this culture war that we're, we're currently experiencing right now all of no always to poisoning the well yeah sure you could do that you could do like Shh. there are absolutely situations like what i said before where depending on when you get your word in when it could look really silly but it's always like a gamble because if you do something stupid and it's responding to what she says next time you can look really silly but it's on her to prove that there are examples of that happening not instead of just her. showing clips of people not like, her. like pausing the video and saying something you're watching the video debate and hurt the debunk trying to debunk her it's the proof's on you bro the proof's on you because she'll say shit like oh yeah i grew up in the hood oh just because you grew up there doesn't mean everybody grew up there and you're like what the fuck? fuck does that mean but i'm sorry thing you need to yeah, exhibit or you need to show clips of that pausing misrepresenting the video she did instead of just she saying just that did. oh you're pausing you're misrepresenting she just did yeah i started making youtube and videos you... was because i was propelled yeah. into this environment by this culture war that we're currently experiencing right now mm -hmm. all of this divisiveness in society and this polarization where we can't even have a conversation with anyone anymore instead damn it would be really cool if we could have a conversation you could respond to your emails gothics instead of just complaining about the fact that nobody wants to have a conversation and my yeah, opposition my detractors would rather look for the gotcha moments they want to they want to find yeah, the clickbait exactly. they want to attempt to hear what i say at least that's what they, they'll tell themselves i want to hear her arguments no you don't because if you actually wanted to hear you would shut up and listen you, you wouldn't yep. just keep interrupting me. Is that how you... That's the thing, too. It's like these these dudes were like, oh, yeah, it's the first time we watched the video. So it's like they're trying to... They, they would have watched the video first and been like, yeah, you know, we have a couple of pointers here, here, here that, that, third. Then, yeah, that'd be something different. You guys are watching the video firsthand and then trying to debunk her. And that when that pausing shit kicks in and then you say something and then she rebuts it as if you guys are having a real conversation, it makes you guys look stupid. Real, real fucking stupid have a conversation in the day-to-day -day environment like Mr. how are you doing i don't care just, just interrupt like that's not how. yeah so she unironically wants us to just like play 12 minutes of video and then go and watch it first I guess, I guess that's, that's what watch it, it first you have civil holy shit why not watch it first and then critique it afterwards yo holy fucking shit dog instead of like she said you think you're having a conversation with the screen dog. you're already saying that she's wrong how are you saying that she's wrong when you're not even fucking listening to the whole thing that she has to say. Or didn't listen to everything she had to say. Discourse. Holy shit. And the reason that I'm making this video, again, I'm not upset that people make videos calling me transphobic or anti-black or whatever. Listen, I've been called all kinds of whatever. things, and I'm mentally it's strong to not let that affect me. And I hope someday right. I can encourage it's other people as well to grow a spine. But the point that I'm making, the reason that I am saying this is because this culture war that we're in, this divisiveness, this polarization is only going to keep continuing if civil discourse fails. If we lose our ability to actually communicate and hear each other out, notice... I, I, I get this. A lot. I mean, this part is like it's fine. I mean, this is like a good general like attitude to have. But unless you're showing examples of that attitude being like you know not exhibited <laughs> in your opponents, then it doesn't really mean much. And showing clips of people. You are doing it now. You are doing it now. You wait. I mean, you, you try to give her the benefit of the doubt of all of that shit right there, and then you still pause it. You know what I mean? She gave you examples in the beginning. Now she's moved on to a different topic about why you don't, why you probably don't listen, and why we don't have discourse because you keep pausing her. You keep wanting her to shut up. In the middle of her fucking monologue, yo. Holy fucking hell, bro. Pausing your video when they're going over it. 
I mean, that, that doesn't oh, prove shit. that point, so I, I don't really know what to say. A lot from people where they'll ask, uh, you know, why didn't you, you punch back at that debate? It's because I was raised to be respectful during conversation. And it is a very, very difficult thing for me to switch off, especially in this that? political oh, no. realm. But I am trying because I realize that a lot of my detractors use this as a tactic to communicate. If you are a hater of mine, I welcome you to challenge yourself and see if you're able to watch an entire video of huh? mine Without actually pausing? absorb the information. Oh, and she's, absorb she's not going to give any specifics on how you do it. You just, you just have to do it. <laughs> watch it once. Watch the fucking shit once. Watch it just one time, bro. Then go through it. Then go fucking through it. Don't watch it in IRL and then try to fucking debunk her. Because like you said, if she says something that makes you look stupid in the middle of you stopping it, yeah, your video is fucking pointless. It's pointless as fucking a non an, un an umbrella. No, it's just pointless, bro. It's just this is stupid shit. This is dumb. Here is examples of people not doing it. Here's clips you see them pausing the video and... That's about um, it. And, um, but, uh, but yeah, just pause it now. Guys. From my point of view, yeah, especially if you are someone that claims to say, I'm an anti racist, I want to fight racism. Well, guess what? <gasps> I'm <Yep>. black. <laughs> uh, but, okay, I think she's memeing. She's laughing. I hope she's memeing. So put your what? money where your mouth is and actually try to hear me out. Okay, never mind. She's not memeing. <laughs> Otherwise, I can't help but think you're a hypocrite. Wow. Inside oh, your no, she's not. She's not is she memeing? Fuck, I can't tell. I can't tell. Wow. I can't tell. The internet has destroyed my brain. I can't tell whether or not this is satire. This you're pausing right now. I know. I'm so sorry. My my weak, yeah. anti free civil discourse mind is compelling me towards pressing the pause button. I'm terribly, terribly sorry. Yeah. I already want to remind you once again. Watch the fucking thing. Email, offering to have a conversation, have a chat about Watch it. Stuff. So, you know, if you do want to have a simple conversation, you can control the conversation. You can ensure you'll misrepresent your positions. Just feel free to respond to the email. The common argument that I get from my opposition is that I weaponize identity politics when it's convenient for me no boo boo i don't know if you just realized what sarcasm meant but let me explain okay, that was sarcasm. i am simply showing you how paper thin your arguments mm. are when you are using it in the context sorry gothics that shit goes way over their head bro they don't even real they don't even get the expressions of lacing their bootstraps or cleaning your room <laughs> this shit is beyond them so anything any real sarcasm it goes through them i'm sorry I'm, i i need to help you out there that's why i need to correct you these guys don't get shit of identity for example amplify black voices unless of course it's a black conservative mm -hmm. or a black republican True. or a black libertarian True. now all of a sudden black mm -hmm. voices don't really matter that is the reason what do you have to say I about say, that rose as a black woman it's rose, not because you know you i subscribe to this in. rhetoric it's because yeah, you subscribe finish. to this rhetoric and i'm trying to show yeah. you that you don't even believe it because if you did <laughs> your logic <laughs> would remain you. consistent oh. regardless of what yep. political party they fall on or what ideology they okay. believe okay. exactly anyways let's go there we go i think that's that's fair bit of pause i'm sorry you sent me a strong word okay now let's see what stupid you got to say regardless when it comes to stuff like this there's no, at least maybe some of the other people no, you're reacting no. to are making this argument. Um, but at least as a progressive, I'm not making the argument that we you should just go. like unconditionally like listen and hear out and clap for every single argument by every single statement. person just because they're black. That's that's not what the okay. argument is. That's not like unconditional, okay. uncritical listening towards people on the basis what of their identity. Uh, when people talk about amplifying black voices and stuff like that, at least in a decent way, the way I would understand <laughs> that would be by the rolling back of a number of like, you know. Remember too, he has to keep saying how I understand it. <laughs> Yo, when you use phrases like the way I understand it and you're trying to correct somebody else, <laughs> the way, yo, you can't, yo, those, that's just two stupid, two stupid statements, two statements that should just never go together, I should say, as I understand it. Like, no, amplifying black voices, but as you were saying, black lady is wrong the way I understand it as what is it again? A fucking, where's this guy from? I don't know. He's not from the U.S. That's for goddamn sure. First and foremost, holy fucking shit, and he is a Caucasian male, holy fuck, I don't understand why these guys like doing this shit, dog, yo, cover that, another racist, j j racist person, <laughs> and telling them that their shit is wrong, you are wrong, you are wrong about everything you say, everything you say is fucking wrong, wowzers. Wowzers. And this guy doesn't get it. It's funny. She's calling out his hypocrisy and he just does not fucking want to get it. It's like he doesn't want to get it. Holy shit, dog. Systemic or no, like social or cultural no. attitudes that make it harder for black people on average to be able to attain the good where they can reach. You see that, though. You see how it's not it just <laughs> certain black folks. Not all black people. Not all black people. Just certain black people. People, people are the black folks on the right that tell you to clean your room. You got to do better. They're wrong. They're wrong. The people on the left that say, yo, you turn a blind eye to crime. They're right. 
<laughs> Yo, why don't you see it, Rose? Come on, Rose. They want to say, you know. um, Get that and shit. For that, I mean, that, that I'm in favor of, obviously, but that's not quite what the Amplified Black Voices means. Amplified Black Voices doesn't just mean, like, uncritically, um, like, listen and play <laughs> and platform every single voice just because they're black. Obviously, Yo, from your, the reason Yo, from your viewpoint, it is, though. From the lefty side, that is what you guys preach all the fucking time, dog, yo. There is a thing of saying, yeah, uplifting black. I would love to uplift this this black woman's voice, even though she's, I think, the Dominican and Puerto Rican. Those are two Latin things. But you know what? Yeah, we won't, we won't grasp at straws. <laughs> we won't, she's, a, she's a POC, dog. She's a person of color. And who is this white guy up here? To tell her that her, she's wrong because she's explaining her experience. She sees people. She's out there on the street. She's in the streets. She's in the fucking streets, bro. She is out there mingling with the elbows, mingling elbows, dog, kissing babies, yo, smacking thugs. What is this guy doing? Fucking sitting there making school reports and regurgitating fucking facts that he heard from other left winging YouTubers. That is dangerous shit, my guy. Because she's going to go up to say some of this regurgitating bullshit to the wrong black dude. And they're going to smack him. Probably take his shit, dog, and tell him to be about his fucking business. I'm sorry. Well, the degree of skepticism on, and argumentation assuming that you find what they're saying to be unreasonable or otherwise disagreeable um so that's the point of that it's, it's not what you think it is but i will say though uh in my video oh my god uh i remember the comments from this video like maybe, maybe all these people are making as well black because i know for sure i didn't say in this video at all black anything about like sunblock, this strong man of like amplified black voices you're black and you're um, oh yeah this is it sun, would you be willing to debate her i read this comment and that's why i sent the email and how do you know more about this black woman's situation than she does white boy answer you don't damn Exactly. Luckily for me, I wasn't talking about Gothics' life. I was talking about broader statistical and sociological trends that you can see this? amongst racial groups in the Yo, again, dude. You can't live off of fucking studies, dog. Holy fucking shit. Until you've been out there. Holy fucking hell, dog, yo. Again, you, you, you can't sit there and judge her on her life. And then be like, oh, I'm talking about the broader spectrum of the fucking thing. So yeah, she probably lives in a black fucking community, dog. She's probably been to other black communities, bro. And she probably witnesses the way people fucking act. So when you sit there and you go into a thing, uh, into a room of people who, who want shit, you know what I mean? Even though that they have their own shit, that they still want more. And they're like, oh, no, we don't have enough. Please give us more. We, well, we're going to fucking shake the raptors for it. You know what I'm saying? And then you have that one person be like, oh, no, nah, yo, shit, we all look like we do. They'll even take it to a drug stealing stand, dog. All those people making fucking millions of fucking dollars. Not one dime really thrown back into their community. Fucking take your statistics and shove them up your ass, dog. Fucking shit, dude. Especially if you've never experienced Okay, let me have this one. So this guy talks about how so he's done a lot of research on systemic racism and discrimination. More likely, he found some study or whatever. I just found, like, yeah. just, just one or two yeah, studies study, that agreed with me. Nothing, nothing major. Just... Remember this, too. He pulls this shit up like this is some sort of fucking ad. No, this, is, this, is, this is like his fucking school shit, my guy. What are these dudes pulling up shit that he's writing up for school? And then never goes to any of the studies. And when he does go to one of the studies, somewhat agreed with what I said. it's I fucking them a little bit extra. And then what, I, the UK I, I or the so. Ireland um, or right, some maybe, other fucking nation just, shit on us. For my go fuck yourself, bias. my dude. He pulled the whole my study trope to appear knowledgeable. He just engaged in confirmation bias. Damn. Where did you post your facts? If you're going to post facts, you should post where they come from. Did I put the document in the description? I did not. That is my fault. I think I make a reference to it here and I read it out. I do do it here, but I probably should put it in the description. However, what is good about the way I do data is that you can clearly see where all my citations are coming from because I have the name of the author and the year was published and then a brief summary of what the key arguments from the thing were. So if you as a viewer were curious about any one of the citations or any one of the things I referenced, you can fairly easily find it. So let's try to find this one, for example. Fagan et al. 20. Let's take a look at this. Let's find a keyword from one of these things. So you know that this dude was writing this shit as a fucking. Was a school report or some shit, though. What the fuck? Why wouldn't you just have already have that shit up? You have like a thousand tabs up over there. Why wouldn't you have any one of those up? But my fault. Uh, killings, intersection of race and reasonableness, and police killings. Let's do Fagan et al. Police mm -hmm. killings. Let's see how hard this is to find. It sucks and that my shit's bang. fucked up. It's right there. Bing. Perfect. It's right there. That's all I have to really say about this <laughs> Two seconds. Uh, topic. Then he's going to look over well like, all right, nobody caught that. Uh, all right, yeah, actually yeah, yeah. I got away because, with it. Like I said, uh, uh, discourse is failing. Yeah, and uh, it. yeah, uh, it's it's uh, I'm just really very embarrassing. Discourse is failing. But anyways, anyone, have a great day. I will see you later. Goodbye. True. All right, guys, don't forget to never pause a video that you're going over, lest you are misrepresenting the arguments and not listen. He did that dozens of times in this video. Again, he should have watched it one time, at least once. And then went into her and rebuted her thing. At least he knows that he wouldn't be fumbling over certain things. Or even probably fucking cut it out. Edit it out some of her shit to, you know, make it look up. I don't know.
but at least give it a fuss and fucking first look through and don't go off at IRL as you just did. You probably paused about 20, 30 times. Yo. Her video is what? Fuck, I can't even see how fucking... Her video is 26 minutes long. Is it 26 minutes long? Yeah, it is 26 minutes long. So you probably did fuck it. I think you did skip through it some of it or some shit. But either way. <laughs> either way. Give her give her a chance to talk, though. Don't fucking sit there and be like, oh, you're wrong. And don't give her a chance to even finish her whole thing. That's what she was getting at. And you did exactly what she did. 